residual superior upper lid tarsus can be slid into an upper lid defect to reconstruct the posterior lamella. Around 50% of the upper lid has been excised in this case. However, when the lid is averted and the tarsus assessed, there is around 4 or 5 mm of residual tarsus superior to the defect. This can be advanced in a similar fashion to a Hughes flap to the lower lid, but of course just into the upper lid defect. The merged septal retractor fibres are dissected off the tarsal plate. The edges of the defect are continued as vertical incisions into the residual superior tarsal plate. The flap is further released until it can be advanced into the defect without tension. As with a lower lid tarsoconjunctival flap, this dissection can be between Muller's and Levator, or between Muller's and Conjunctiva, which may be preferable as the attachment to Conjunctiva alone probably increases its mobility and reduces tension that may result in lid retraction. The flap is sutured in situ. It is sutured a couple of millimetres advanced of the neighbouring host tarsus as it does tend to retract a little over time. The advancement flap should have a little horizontal tension to keep the upper lid architecture and contour, and in this case it is a little too wide, so is trimmed. The other side is sutured to the host tarsus. An anterior lamella advancement flap is also created, utilising pre-existing dermatochalasis. The skin advancement flap is sutured 2 to 3 mm recessed of the lid margin, as it will advance and the tarsal flap will recess. The reported complications and adverse outcomes of the sliding upper lid tarsoconjunctival flap are upper lid retraction, upper lid entropion and lagophthalmus, although these are relatively uncommon. If the full height of the upper lid has been excised, this technique can be used to reconstruct up to around 50% of the upper lid. If the full height has not been excised, 
then the residual tarsal plate can be slid into wider defects. This technique can also be used to reconstruct eyelid collarbomas.